wel. Can you tell us about the, the highlight car of the day? Yes, this is a, a famous car from the movies. Uh, yes, uh, the, 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 it's a, the Time Machine DeLorean. Yes. It's fabulous. We're happy to have it here because, if you notice, the date inside is October 21st. So today is actually Back to the Future Day. So we're celebrating that today is Back to the Future Day. We wanted to invite this car to be here and to celebrate it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not my car. Is that the That's the original, original Is it the original car? No, this is not, but this is one of the best recreations that there is. How many were created like that? There were 23 that were made. Oh, wow. And this is, this is the best one. And the gentleman that makes them, uh, makes them for uh, uh, people that want a car, want to relive their past with the, you know, Back to the Future, and it's a lot of fun. Good afternoon. So what, uh, what brought you to this event today? And what excites you about presenting your art? Well, um, I came with an invitation by uh, Mr. Stuart Sorbeck of uh, Las Vegas Concourse de Elegance. Two years ago, we were discussing bringing the, a series of motif designs that I do for Lamborghini, a tribute to uh, Ferruccio Lamborghini that debuted out in uh, Campo Galliano in Italy through my friends with the family. And uh, we started off uh, basically in Houston, uh, Houston with the Lamborghini Festival. So they took interest of a lot of the artworks that I do and I uh, en encompassed that with a lot of fashion designs. And uh, so they thought this is gonna be appropriate for this particular show this year. So what pieces of art have you Today. Um, I brought some of my fashion designs, a new luggage design that I do that's going to be set for the aviation business in private jet. A uh, company here, Eli, uh, has a new publication as well, and he's done an article on my new fly ride series. And then I brought, if you come around this corner, these are uh, some of the paintings that I'm going to be bringing out for this show. Wow, that's fantastic. And I brought some large paintings that are going to be displayed at the baseball field. And then this is in retro. The photos are amazing. Thank and, you, uh, thank you. This is a uh, um, boy painting, this or is, is it uh, acrylic? Yeah, this is, this is uh, digital enhanced, so it's also enhanced by hand. But it's designed so that way it's in 3D. So you put on a retro style 3D and you can literally step into the paint, which I'll show you. You can't see it on the camera, yes. but you'll be able can to. Can I get into the car now? You can take a look. <laughs> yeah, you can get into the car now, exactly. All right, thank you so much. And thank you. Uh, can thank you let you. us know where uh, we can find you on the website? Oh, uh, yeah, it's uh, gilary.store. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Tell us a little bit more about the year it was built. 
And it's, a, it's made by Backdraft Corporation out of Florida. It's a 2005. And uh, for the power plant, it's got a 351 Windsor, board and stroke 392, about 435 horsepower. And it's a lot of car and it's a lot of fun. My wife hates it, she won't even ride it. <laughs> Good How afternoon. I'm good. Good afternoon. This is a this is an interesting car that uh, you are uh, bringing uh, to uh, to this event. It's not using uh, uh, gas. No, no. This is a gas-powered car. Okay, because I see <laughs> I see kind of a bottle on the behind you, uh, Rosé Cuervo. <laughs> Oh, this is a coolant recovery bottle. Okay. And the reason it says Jose Cuervo is because the name of the car is Mosquitoes Bandito. So what I haven't acquired yet is the sombrero that I'm going to lay on top of it. But that's the idea. So you have been working really uh, on that car. And uh, how old is that car? Well, the car is a 1934 two-door sedan, but it took us five months to build it. Five months? Yeah. Wow. But we already had a frame and body, so it was easier to do the project. Normally it takes around a year, but this was started, so it made it a little easier. Okay, what excites you to be here today? Why am I here? I'm here because a friend of mine came from California to photograph the Concorde, and he wanted to see my car and take a picture of it, so we drove over this afternoon. So are you based in Las Vegas? I live in Henderson. Okay, yes. Well, I do also. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how far can you uh, drive this car? Uh, just, uh... <laughs> fast enough. <laughs> um, the, as fast as I've had it with my wife in it, who is standing right there behind you, is about 85 miles an hour. It'll go much faster. Wow, that's quite amazing. <laughs> well, it, the, this is a 460 cubic inch Ford motor with about 600 horsepower. So it'll go as fast as I ever want to go. Yes, so that's quite an interesting thing. Uh, and comfortable too. I'm sorry? <laughs> Very comfortable too. Yes, we we took Mazda seats out of a three series Mazda and cut them down two inches and then reupholstered them so that they would fit in this, this car is narrow. But they're very comfortable. Did you uh did you change the exhaust? Because when you arrive, we know that you arrive. <laughs> I built it to be loud. Okay. <laughs> but it's not too it's it's not very it's not as loud inside as you would think. Okay. It, because we have uh, uh, sound deadening throughout the car with dynamat and then carpet. So it's not as loud as you would think. Wow. Let's do a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No sir. problem. Thank you.